everyone and a very warm welcome to this session. My name is Kriti and here is a simple mind map illustrating all the important aspects of the chapter Air Around Us. So today's session will help you understand the important theory that is involved in various concepts of this chapter. So we will expand on each branch so that you can get details so that the whole chapter will be crystal clear. Quickly hit the like and subscribe button and then let's get started with this mind map. Air around us. So first let's you know, get to know about the composition of air. Air contains a number of gases that includes 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other gases such as carbon dioxide, water vapor etc. Along with small amounts of dust and smoke as well. Now what are we going to do? We will talk about all of So let's talk about all of these one by one in the descending order of their availability. So the most important is nitrogen. Let's get started with it. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere. It's not a supporter of combustion. Coming to oxygen now. Oxygen is the second most abundant gas in the atmosphere. And unlike nitrogen, it is a supporter of combustion. Now, if you recall the activity from the textbook, where two burning candles are placed, you know, on a table, and then one of them is covered with a tumbler. You will see that the flame of the candle on which the tumbler was placed got extinguished. This is because in the glass tumbler, the flame uses all the oxygen that's there. That is required. So basically, glass tumbler mein kya hua? the flame uses up all the oxygen required for it to keep burning. Meanwhile, the other candle gets a continued supply of oxygen from the air. Hai? Now, oxygen is present in the air. This is something we all know. But you know what? It's also present somewhere else. Air mein hai hai. It's also present in soil and dissolved in water. Moreover, all living organisms require oxygen for respiration. So, we need oxygen for respiration. Not only the organisms that are present on land, but even those that live underground and inside water require oxygen to breathe. On the land, humans and other terrestrial animals breathe in oxygen. That we all know. Under the ground, soil has burrows and spaces for animals and plant roots to respire. However, when it rains, you know, these animals, they come out, they come out of the ground to breathe. Because they will water fill the water. Also, in water, oxygen is present in a dissolved form, you know, as I was talking about this. And the animals present in water, they breathe in oxygen using specialized organs such as gills and fishes. Now, right after this session, do one more thing. Heat water in a steel utensil. Just before the water starts to boil, you'll notice something. You will see tiny bubbles and these bubbles are nothing but dissolved air which escape karne ki koshish karenge, trying to escape, okay? Now, now that we are done with the major chunk of, I would say, air, let's discuss the gases in the remaining 1%. Nitrogen ke baare mein aapko pata chal chuka hai, oxygen ke baare mein pata chal chuka hai, coming to carbon dioxide. It's obviously present in air and dissolved in water as well. Air may be here, water may be here. Now, it's the component of air that plants and animals breathe out during respiration. Burning of organic matter produces carbon dioxide, which leads to pollution. So, you have to know that burning se ye gas produced by pollution. Ho rahi hai. So, when you're you know, in a closed room and something is burning, you, you may feel suffocation. You can suffocated feel ho sakta hai, as burning consumes the oxygen, decreases the amount of oxygen present in the room and replaces it with carbon dioxide. Plants, however, need this carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So, plants ko to chahiye carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is the process by which you know, we have our plants making their own food using chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. So, during photosynthesis, plants release oxygen. Okay. Now, coming to water vapor. It is the gaseous form of water. Water vapor, what is gaseous form of water? Ka? Water from the oceans or any water body for that matter, it gets evaporated by the sunlight and the vapors rise into the atmosphere. Coming to the final component that we were talking about, smoke and dust. Smoke and dust ki bhi baat kar lete. Theek hai? Smoke and dust. Now, although they are present in very tiny amounts in the atmosphere, 
they can cause pollution by the way and they are very harmful to living or living organisms in general bhi dust to kisi ko nahi pasand right smoke ki baat pehle karte hain smoke is a mixture of gas i smoke is a mixture of uh, you know various gases that are produced during burning of a fuel now it can usually be seen coming out of chimneys hum sabne smoke dekha hua hai and it's harmful for us to breathe and that's the reason chimneys are made tall bahut tall tall chimneys hoti hain such that smoke coming out cannot reach us wo upar atmosphere mein hi reh jaye coming to dust it's a collection of tiny particles that are floating in the air they are you know this when we talk about dust they are always present in the air although we we are able to see them sometimes we are not able to see them sometimes mostly we are unable to see them now dust can be seen jab aap jab wo you know accumulate ho jati hai kahi pe so let's say dust can be seen when you enter in a dark room and then sunlight comes into the room to aapko वो स्लिट जो है टाइनी स्लिट जो है इसके थ्रू आपको डस्ट दिखती है या किसी सब्सटेंस के ऊपर डस्ट कलेक्ट हो गई तब आपको दिखती है है ना तो नेक्स्ट टाइम किसी रूम में एंटर करोगे आप देख सकते हो थ्रू द टाइनी स्लिट यू कैन सी टाइनी पार्टिकल्स ऑफ डस्ट मूविंग इनसाइड द बीम ऑफ सनलाइट नाउ यू माइट वॉन्डर इफ डस्ट इज ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन दर तो इज इट हार्मफुल फॉर अस टू ब्रीद और नॉट सो येस इट इज but the fine hair and the mucus present inside our nostrils filter out the dust particles so we are very much sorted theek hai to koi zyada tension ki baat nahi hai but ha hum dusting karte rehte hain clean karte rehte hain na taki jo dust accumulate ho gayi hum usko hatate rahe chaliye now to summarize air predominantly is made up of nitrogen and oxygen living things respire by breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide During photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen into the atmosphere. And आप देख रहे हो क्या हो रहा है? This maintains a balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And with this, we have come to the end of this session. So yes, we've got you covered. Quickly hit the like and subscribe button and let me know in the comment section which component of air is your favorite. Waiting for your answers. Take care. Bye bye.